Everybody, Trigger Bar Philosopher back at just with a at you with just a quick tabletop video, just a little bit of a follow on from yesterday's video about the Ruger S Far. In, in short recap, I got a new regulator from Ruger that would help fix some of my cycling issues. I installed that and and it and it kind of just made them worse actually. So I got a little frustrated with it. Really appreciate all the comments and everybody who's been you know liking the video and commenting on it and providing suggestions. Um, in particular, Scott's Outdoors provided a, a great comment about how he slowed the video down to one quarter speed and was able to show that the rifle, the, the bolt carrier group was actually returning so quickly uh, in, in, into battery, it wasn't allowing the ejection of the 308 rounds to happen. And so really appreciate that. And he's suggesting, you know, adding an H3 or H2 or something like that, that buffer weight to slow it down or, or, or running it on setting one for the 308 uh, uh, rifle. When he gave me those thoughts, I thought, well, maybe I'll keep trying that old regulator. In my video yesterday, I said, I'm done with it. I'm just gonna go back to the way it was because it was all working. And so I decided, hey, let me just put it back on the new regulator, make sure everything's tightened down. I checked my gas block again, 35 inch pounds. I checked, uh, you know, to make sure that the handguard was tightened, you know, to 55 inch pounds. And I think before I said foot pounds, so my apologies and, and thank you to the user who's uh, corrected me on that. Uh, but uh, but also what I did is I said, hey, I might as well take the bolt carrier group out, make sure it's lubed properly. Always not a bad idea, just wipe it off. and put it back and as I was messing with it, look what I found. I found the gas, you know, key is, is starting to come loose. And so that's probably not a good idea and that potentially is the reason why everything failed or started failing sort of abruptly. Uh, and I, I didn't put back 762 ammo to see if that had stopped working, but everything sort of became single shot at that point. And, um, I'm sure that what Scott's Outdoors was, was saying was, was, was absolutely right, but, but this can't be helping. So this is now the third thing that I've heard on this SFAR. The reason why I want to get this out quick is I'm a little suspicious with the things of how they're tightening things down. So Turkey's opinion showed how the handguard, uh, the two bolts that tightened that down were very loose when he took his apart. And then Brad Branch yesterday released some videos showing that his friend's gas block, one of the screws was not tight, so he tightened those down. And now I'm showing, I think this is called the gas key, but I'm, I'm not sure, please correct me in the comments, uh, is not tight. I remember I showed, had a video comparing an AR-15 bolt carrier group and the Ruger SFAR bolt carrier group, and the AR-15 has two bolts here, and this only has one to hold this down. That could be you know, a, a potential design problem. So just wanted to call this out and show it. I'm definitely gonna be tightening it up. I would appreciate any comments. Anyone knows how, what the specification of the, of the torque on this is and or should I put Loctite or Threadlocker or Vibratite or anything on that uh, bolt that, that holds that down. So anyway, thought I'd get this out pretty quick and please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.